and welcome to the St. Charles Public Library's virtual walk and talks, Stories with the Nature Center. I'm Miss Amelia, and once again, we are coming to you from the great outdoors. And this month, we are going to start with our story walk first, and then follow up with the craft at the end. So without further ado, this story walk is called Sun by Allison Oliver. Sun was a star, a soccer star. He loved the game. He loved the cheers. Woo woo, go Sun, yay Sun, yay. Huh, but something was missing. His brother was busy making art. He looked happy. Sun decided to take his ball down to the beach. He thought about his brother. Sun used to make art too. As he walked, he noticed all the things the ocean had washed out. It's a lot of stuff. He climbed up and down the dunes. Then he saw something unusual. A little house. It was mysterious. It was magical. How did it get there? And all of a sudden, he was nose to nose with a fox. What do you think happens next? To find out, get to the Leroy Oaks Forest Preserve and find the next story walk. And now, stay tuned for our supply list and our craft for the month of August. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna turn all of this stuff that you see in front of you into a bird feeder. So we're gonna start with our plastic bottle and you wanna make sure that it still has the lid and everything's nice and dry. We're gonna take that little push pin and we're gonna put a hole right in the bottom. All right, once you've got that hole started, you're gonna take the sharp point of your scissors, make sure to be careful, and if you need an adult, ask for help. We're gonna put, can you see that hole? Yeah, we're gonna put the scissors right in that hole, and we're not gonna have to cut anything, we're just gonna twist it around to try and make that hole a little bit bigger. We want it to be the size of our pencil stick here. You can use a dowel rod, you can use a pencil, we can use sticks. Oops, looks like I need to make it just a little bit bigger. All right, see we can go all the way through. And we want it to go all the way through to push through. So I'm gonna push this through and kind of line up and find my spot. I'm gonna poke my pin through. And then we'll use our scissors again to make the hole bigger. And make sure that that pushes right through. There we go, first part done. Now the next pencil or dowel rod or stick, you want to go at a 90 degree angle, which means when you put it through, it's going to directly cross over that pencil, the first pencil that you put in. So my next hole is going to go right about here. All right, now, you can see they make the cross, so you know you put them in the right way. That way you can have birdies here, and here, and here, and here. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is create the holes for the birds to be able to get their bird seed out of. So we're gonna use the push pin again, and you wanna go about an inch above where your stick is, right about here, and you're gonna poke a hole, and you're gonna do that in front of all four little perches. We'll go right about here. Here. Right about here. Now these holes, need we need to make sure that are, they are big enough for the bird seed to fall out. So it's really going to depend on what kind of bird seed you have. 
type of bird seed I have is really small very fine so I'm not gonna want my bird my holes to be too big I'm gonna widen it with my scissors I'm gonna try that way again here and that is probably a good size for them to get in if you were using bigger bird seed you might want to use your scissors to actually cut the hole a little bit bigger but again it's all gonna depend on what size bird seed you've got Okay, you can take your string and you can wrap it around once, wrap it around twice, wrap it around three times for good measure. I'm going to take this right here and tie a knot. Oop. Looks like I already got one in there. All right, there's one. And now you have a way to pick up and hang your bird feeder. All right. And the very last step is putting some drainage holes in the bottom. Just in case any water gets in, you don't want your bird seed to go rotten. So I just poked a couple holes in the bottom to make sure if any water gets in that it drains out. All right. And now the fun part, we get to fill it with seed, bird seed. <clears throat> I'm going to use a funnel to make sure that everything gets in there. And let's see here. Like I could probably fit a little more bird seed in here. You want to make sure it goes up past your little holes. But other than that, we have just made a fabulous bird feeder. Dun 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 dun. Once you get to Leroy Oaks, I want you to drive past the Durant House Museum parking lot and turn left. And you're going to follow that road all the way down to the very last parking lot. And that's where you're going to find this information kiosk right here. And if you turn around and look right behind you, you can see that there's a bridge. And right past the bridge is where the story walk starts. Come on, let's go. And it wraps all the way around and goes right down Randall Road Trail. So now that you know where to find the story walk, make sure you get out there and read. And don't forget, check back every two weeks for a different story.